Hi everyone, um, you should already have your notes about Git and GitHub by now. I just wanted to give you like an overview um, for those who find it difficult to uh, read uh, text content or to understand them. Although you still have to read them, um, but this, this might help you understand a little better. I'll just give you a walkthrough of what each of them are, uh, that's Git and GitHub, and try as much as possible to show you examples. I'll be downloading one or two software to make it easy for you to work with Git. Uh, it's it you don't have to write um, shell command or terminal or write things in your terminal or command prompt before you can use Git. So I'll be showing you how to do that in, uh, in this short tutorial. So this is my own GitHub account. When we ask you for your GitHub profile, this is what we mean: uh, the GitHub address and then your username. That will take us to your GitHub account. Uh, you can see from my account, I have updated some of my information here. You can do this. These are some of the organizations I belong to that I write code for. Um, I, you can also see some other information here. I have done 817 contributions this year. Uh, I'm sure a lot of beginners have less contribution. And in fact, I've not been doing too much of coding, uh, unfortunately. Uh, so you would also see some of my most recent activities here. I can show more if I want. Uh, you can see some of the repositories I've created. We are going to be talking about repositories shortly. Uh, here is a page for introduction. I can add more content here, but I just don't have much content to add. So you can do that for yourself. I'll be showing you how to do that later in this video. So let's start with what is Git. Uh, from the notes you already have, Git is a version control system that allows you to keep track of the state of your project for those that play games here you know there is something called saving state while playing a game you can decide to save your current state so that if anything happens uh, you can always go back to that state and continue your game from there the same way git oh, git was git is like that system that um tool that allows you to save the state of your project at different phases so that you can always go back there and um, make changes uh, so you can switch back and forth between um, stages in your project and that is generally called a version control system because you are creating uh, different versions basically and being able to keep track of each version and being able to go back to a particular version of your um, project so that's generally what that is so github is Okay, so Git is something you install on your computer or, or your or, or a server or something. You have to install it somewhere. So that's what Git is. Git works on your local machine. However, GitHub, on the other hand, is a cloud storage service that allows you to keep your Git version project in the cloud. So this is like allowing you to... So you have uh, music on your own computer, but you can also upload music or video on YouTube. So look at it that way. What you have on your computer is just your normal software. You can do anything you want to do it. But you can also decide to upload that content to YouTube or to Google Drive or to one of these cloud se um, storage services. So that's what GitHub is. GitHub is that cloud storage service that allows you to move your code from your local machine and send it to the cloud. One of the reasons why that is important is you can now share your code with anybody anywhere in the world. And in fact, it is even possible for them to contribute to your code without uh, damaging or changing what you have done. They can just create a different version. Remember what I said about creating different stages or different version, like a version control system. So they can create a different version of your code and work on that version. Now, in, in, the, in this um, case, that is called a branch. So basically, they can branch off from your own version and work on the new branch and in fact later in future they can bring back that branch into your own branch and merge it together so these are just basic terminologies that you should have in that note already now on github um, it is possible to create different folders for different projects so look at my profile here i have twitter um, video downloader i have to do js um, i have secure password generator i'm going to be using these things here as examples for you so these are different projects uh this is a twitter video download video downloader that i built a few years ago uh, this is a sample project that i built for beginners a few years ago too and 
basically these are different projects on my github account each of these projects are stored in a folder in different folders these folder folders are called repositories so repositories are like folders that help you to keep track of projects and organize the projects into different sections so now i know where this project is it is in this particular repository basically I say in this particular folder so if i open this up now you see that this project uh as was done four years ago i mean the last update i did to this project was four years ago um i have instructions on how to use it here and um there are other information about it but the actual code is in here as you can see it, it just has four files and this was updated updated three years ago this particular file was updated three years ago and the other files were done four years ago so again this is just a way to organize your code in the cloud now i don't have this project anymore on my local machine because it was done four years ago i have had to switch computers about three times or four times since then so i don't have the project anymore but i'm not worried because i have it in the cloud and i can always go back to it to get it in the cloud so this is what GitHub helps you to achieve, and it is done by by um, building on what Git already does on your own local system. Um, so let's move on now. I mentioned something about branches. So right now I have a single, I have this project, and this is a branch here, and this is a single branch for this project. Now, if I wanted, if somebody else wanted to work on this project, they could create a different branch of this particular project and work on it. So to do that, I can do it from GitHub here. I can say and then click on create branch here but I will not be doing that because I don't want to create an empty branch that will not be used later so I'll be deleting, deleting this now so basically that's what it is uh, there are other menu items there which you don't have to worry about for now let's just focus on this is github repository the repository is like a folder that contains your actual content and then it keeps track of when you worked on it the changes you made and so on so let's look at this project this particular file that i uh, created four years ago and you can see the actual content of the file here this is a php project by the way and it's a long file and i can even do some other things like i could i could check the history so it took me a few seconds to locate it i could check the history of this particular file and i can decide to open this project at this particular point in the project so this is what git github helps you to do uh, i can easily go to a particular state of this project and it also helps you to share with others but as you can see um 18 people are watching this particular project sorry four people are watching it 18 people say like they they like the project so this is what a star is for github like saying i like this project and then 19 people have actually copied this project people that i, I, I don't know have copied this project and used on their own local machine this is called a uh, fork so you can decide to get this project even you can do that and get this project into your own github account then get it for your own um system locally so this basically allows you to copy this project and make a copy of this project into your own github account this is something we'll probably look at later um, but for now understand that github allows you to uh, do all that i've explained and i can go back now let's look at one more file the file that was edited three years ago so let's check this file and open it up and you can see this file also has the content here and let's see the history to know what changed three years ago uh you see it says in 2017 the file was made and i added some other things i updated it in 2017 may 11th and uh this is march i created march 2017 this is the first time i pushed it into github and then i made some touches i made it pretty i added some uh some other code to make it more pretty and then here i updated it and so on and so forth so at each point i have a message attached to each of those um, saves and then i can go back to any position and try to see what was there so to go back there i can click here so this is what this project was as at that point in time as at that point in time i have just three files 
remember in the main project now i have four files so at this point in time i have just three files as at may march sorry 28 2017 i have just three files so this is what github allows you to do it allows you to keep track of th things like this and you can do a lot more but i don't want to bother you about that now so i'll go back to my profile and we'll look at one more project as example um i think this project is also popular according to my profile So this is another project and this project has a single branch too and you can see it was made two two years ago and updated 13 months ago so basically the same thing applies this project is made with javascript and html and you can decide to check it out uh, and see if you'll be interested in looking at the code so let's op open up this folder and then remember i told you these up repositories are just like folders so that means you can create a folder inside them so this is a folder inside that github repository which is called to do js so let's look at this folder and in that folder i have a single file and i want to show you something here there is a different user here who contributed to this particular project this is one of the advantages of working with git and github uh, this person decided to make some changes to this project and I approved those changes. So in, in later you'll be learning about uh, collaborating on GitHub. But for now, just understand it is possible to share a project with people and they will be able to contribute to your project uh, meaningfully. And it, this one has been copied by about 100 people and uh, 100, 11 people like it and 7 people are currently watching it for changes. So this is what GitHub is and basically the summary of what Git is.